We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you. In these times of uncertainty, where it's easy to get gripped by fear, by anxiety, the Heart of the Nation family lets you know that we are praying for you, that we proclaim the healing power of Jesus Christ, that through the cross, Christ is always triumphant, the resurrection always wins. We pray for the healing power of Christ through the intercession of our dear Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Joseph to cover our incomplete world as we pray this prayer of blessing. Lord our God, who watch over your servants with unfailing care, Keep us in the safe embrace of your love. With your strong right hand, raise up your servants and give them the strength of your own power. Minister to them and heal their illnesses so that they may have from you the hope, help that they long for. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. On this fifth Sunday of Easter, we continue to encounter the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. As he says, do not let your hearts be troubled. We also give thanks in a special way uh, for the gift of mothers and the impact that our moms have in our lives. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and the life. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, we place our trust in you. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you protect us from all evil. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you are pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the Twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve the table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and and the spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch to convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. joy to the Lord, O you just, for 
praise is fitting for thee, O bright. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a ten-stringed lute, sing him songs. His works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and his merciful love fills the earth. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Yes, the Lord's eyes are on those who in his merciful love to rescue their souls from death to keep them alive in famine Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you A reading from the first letter of St. Peter Beloved Come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And, like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as in their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there are not, how would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to Master, We do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with, for you with so long a time? And you still not understand, know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father.
How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater one than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's a simple game that's played in many, many different contexts. It's a game that everyone probably has played at one point or another. It involves numbers and letters and kind of extreme focus. Uh, And the game I'm thinking of is a game called Bingo. Many people have played the game of Bingo. And when you play Bingo, there's a certain kind of anticipation that rises in your heart as you see yourself closing in on a Bingo, right? You're just waiting maybe for that one last letter and you're saying, okay, if I can get that last letter, I'm going to be able to say Bingo. But then at the same time, we know that there is probably a group of people playing with us that also might be just around the corner of saying that word bingo. And right away, when we're so close and all of a sudden we hear someone call out bingo, that's not us, all of a sudden our heart kind of sinks, right? Someone has just kind of snuck in and stole our joy. They've stolen our thunder, kind of what was maybe meant for us. And then we hear that word, clear your cards. We say, oh, no got to start over. I've got to start over. That sense of being your joy just being swiped away from you. Someone's stealing your joy. And that's a lighthearted example. We know in bingo we can just start right over and and that's part of the game, right? But we think in, in life in a deeper way how there's so often things that happen that come in and just steal our joy right away. We think of a situation perhaps where we're looking forward to maybe a new job and we're looking for a new opportunity in life and all of a sudden we find out someone else got the job and our heart just sinks. We might be maybe very proud of our our children or grandchildren. We might be sharing that with someone and all of a sudden someone else says, well, my children, and then all of a sudden your your heart just sinks. Or maybe at the greater level when we're dealing with an illness or or battling through a a health condition and we think and it seems like there's going to be healing in store and all of a sudden we get the news that it's not what we thought, that things still aren't looking good and our heart just drops. Our heart just drops. In the midst of this, what does Jesus say as he starts the gospel? Do not let your hearts be troubled. Jesus had just declared that that Judas is going to betray him, that he's going to be with the disciples only a little bit longer, and he says, do not let. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Because we know so often we do let our hearts be troubled. Troubles happen, but do we allow our hearts to be troubled? What does Jesus say? You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. And so we ask ourselves today, do we have faith? Do we truly have faith in Jesus and our Father and the power of the Holy Spirit? Do we have faith? Because so often I think we buy the lie and we have faith in the lies that do not come from God. Faith in the lies that things are never to get better. Faith in the lies that God has forgotten about us or God doesn't care about our situation or God doesn't see us. That is never from Jesus. What does Jesus say? I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus in the voice of the Father always speaks words of love, of hope, of encouragement. And so, yep, are there situations that steal our joy, that get us down? Yes. But do we let our hearts be troubled? No. Because we have a Savior who always speaks the truth of faith, of love, of carrying our cross, but with Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the goodness of our Father uh, at our side. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With faith and trust and confidence in our Lord, we present our prayers of petition. For the Church, that we may find ways to both preach the Word and serve our neighbor, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end to gun violence in our communities and nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the mothers, grandmothers, godmothers, and other moms remembered with love in spiritual bouquets sent to the heart of the nation in celebration of Mother's Day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the newly baptized and those making their first Holy Communion, that they may be fervent in their love of Christ and in their desire to reveal His love to others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the protection of all our Heart of the Nation parish members during this time of fear and uncertainty, especially protect the vulnerable and elderly, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those struggling with difficulties of illness and advancing age, especially those joining in prayer at home, may they feel the restorative power of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, may they receive a place in the Father's house, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the states of South Carolina and Georgia, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear these our prayers. Strengthen us in trust of your truth. Grant our prayers according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Jesus. Jesus. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So at our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer each other a sign of Christ's peace, especially to those watching on television, following on social media.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel. Thanks be to God. We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. 
for your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you and may God bless you.